Hey folks, welcome back to Spruceberg. We're going to be sequence breaking a little bit today in that we're going to play a different family from the like rotation order we did the first time. This is because we just had Morgan's birthday in the last episode and if you remember we also had the twins. Uh, we also have a twins in the neighborhood, Harumi and Rikuto, and their birthday is right around the corner and since they since Morgan just aged up, I'd sort of like them all to be teenagers together and have this like next generation of teens all being teens at the same time. And I'd like Morgan to be able to come to their birthday party. So we're going to be playing the Karata household and I hope you're excited about it. I'm very excited about it. I've been waiting for these two to age up literally forever. And them hitting the teenage years should solve a problem that their grandma Katsuko has been having with the nanny. Uh, well, the problem is that we haven't been paying her. So she won't, she won't visit. Uh, the nanny has refused to take our services just because we wouldn't pay her. Um, <laughs> and so at the moment, Kat is just having to skip work because she can't leave the twins home alone, but the nanny refuses to come over. So it's been kind of crap. I mean, we can try calling the nanny again, just in case. I can see it. she's meant to be heading to work right now. Look, there's the, there's the carpool. So let's see if the nanny picks up. Wait just a second. Do you want me to come over there even though you can pay me last time? I don't think so. Maybe I'll reconsider later. Okay, so we are going to have to just skip work. So let's just ignore the car. You know, Kat is not that committed to her job. Ultimately, it's just a means to an end for her and the twins come first, you know. Oh, and she's made some nice hearty soup for the cold winter season. You love to see it. The kids are in bed though, so I don't know if they're going to be able to enjoy the soup. See, he wants to be friends with Morgan and their birthday is today, so... Yeah, we'll have that when they get back home from school. Assuming they have school, if it's a snow day, I guess we can start the party early. But it doesn't look like it's snowing that hard. Yeah, the snow is kind of fading. All right, Riku is awake. And he has a want to do his homework, which is great news because, yeah, it's snowing. Okay, he still likes the snow, that's good. Right, come on, get your homework done. It's nearly done anyway by the looks of things, so it shouldn't take very long at all. Right, Haru also doesn't want to do her homework, but I believe her homework is already done, so... Yeah, I guess she can just enjoy the morning. I will miss them being kids. They're so adorable. You know, like, I'm ready for them to be teenagers, but not seeing them do this anymore is going to be so sad. You know, their little mornings of her playing with a rocket here while he does some painting. I mean, I guess Riku can carry on painting when he's older. I'm sure he will. The winter landscape seems to really be inspiring him at the moment. Yeah, Riku is quite a sensitive boy. I can see him being like a bit of an artist as he's older. I've wondered about picking out the artistic trait for him rather than randomizing it. I think I'll randomize it and then if it turns into something stupid, I'll pick out something else. Because I am starting to feel like I have quite a good idea of who these sims are and if they roll something where I'm like, no, that isn't them, I don't want to feel too beholden to it if it's like gonna make it harder to get into the characters' minds, you know. Okay, Katsuko missed work, whatever. She always misses work at this point, but she'll be able to go back tomorrow after the kids are grown up because then they can be left home alone. So, you know, things are looking up. Right, where is Kat? Ah, she's up. Have a bath. No, you know what, don't. Have a bath. I don't care about you having a bath. I can see that you want to go on a date and you want to fall in love. So that's what we're going to work on. I know I've been doing a lot of dating in this game. I, you know, I just, I love, I love seeing them go on little dates. What can I say? Anyway, and we've got to get back before the kids get home from school. So we don't have time to waste on having a bath or whatever other nonsense. Yeah, let's get going. We're going to call up Matthew and we're going to meet at a community lot. Alright, and where are we going to go? Let's go to the bar because I feel that's the most 
cat thing to do. You know, she hasn't been there since the first week, but I feel like ultimately she's not that outdoorsy. She's more of a, you know, have a drink, have a game of poker kind of girl. Maybe getting some drinks in them will, you know, get, a, get the romance flowing. I suppose we'll see. It could do it quite the opposite. Here we are. Right, and there's our boy Matthew. Oh, and he has a locked want to make out with her. Okay, that's great. That's great. Let's start out by just talking about some shared... I don't know if he likes films and literature. Let's see. Okay, yeah, he likes it. He does not get above an occasional trip to the theatre. This isn't the kind of music I would slow dance to, but... Let's do it. I think if we just sped up the animation, but kept the music the same, this could work well. Oh, it's heating up. Okay, they've both got wants to make out. Oh, and he's fallen in love. Shocking. No, get away from the table. No, no. Look, she really wants to play cards. Oh, okay. Never mind. No. Oh, for goodness sake. Come on. Go make out with him. Now. Oh, it's not even an option. For goodness sake. Oh, he's in the toilet. No, not in the toilet. That's not... It's not what I had in mind. Okay, we've got a crush. This is going well. This is going great. Can we make out? Yes. Okay. Oh, it's about to get hot with these elderly folks. Here we go. Let's go. Love in the back room. Not the back room, like the back rooms. Just like the back of the bar. <laughs> There we go. Oh, isn't that nice? Good for them. She actually wants to woohoo with him. Mm hmm. Well, maybe. We'll see. I think it doesn't necessarily make sense to like rush, rush anything, you know. Oh, Linda. Oh I mean, yeah, what was I saying? Oh, for goodness sake. All right. I wouldn't mind her having a few friends who aren't him. So what if she joined Priscilla at the, um... And we ask Philibert to join as well. Oh, I didn't mean to shoot him. I'm so sorry, Philibert. Philibert. Hello. Would you like to... Play... Snook it with us. See, this is a nice activity for the elderly on a snowy day. Oh shoot, what time is it the kids get home? Maybe we need to go. Let's ask Matthew back to our place. Yeah, it might seem like a bit of a short date, but sometimes that's how it is. I notice, by the way, Len is at the bar and her love interest, Robbie, just playing poker. And he isn't playing poker with her. He's just off doing his own thing. So, yeah, more and more I'm losing faith in that as a couple, <laughs> I have to say. Right, we're going home, but I did want to just say hi to the good witch because he's been phoning us up a lot. And I sort of like the idea of Kat potentially becoming a witch in the future. I think that could be fun. Anyway, right, Matthew's coming home with us. And yeah, maybe he'll be here for the kids' birthday party. Maybe we'll even be able to fit in that quick woohoo that she wants. Hmm? Hmm? We'll see. I wish I could walk, lock two once. Like, fall in love seems like more of a nice long term goal. <laughs> but I really want her to woohoo. Uh, we'll leave it. I will remember the woohoo one and they will do it 
regardless. <laughs> <laughs> they will, they will do it regardless. Ah, oh, yeah, Haru's relatives receive word of his her report, and she's doing really well. Oh, that's good. Oh God, please hurry home. If <laughs> can you imagine? I'm just going to save just in case. Can you imagine if I just accidentally didn't get back in time and the social worker showed up? I'm not sure which relatives these are supposed to be since she is an orphan, but I don't know. Maybe they have some aunts and uncles on their mum's side or something. Right, which one of them has more friends? He only knows Joy. Yeah, they're both best friends with Joy and then they kind of know this other girl. That seems like it's sort of it. I think we'll have him throw the party because he knows Morgan and she doesn't. And I do want Morgan to be there. So we'll throw a birthday party. And as is so often the case in this neighborhood, their friends just go completely neglected, left to hang out and watch TV by themselves. <laughs> All right, so we're going to invite over Joy, who they both know, and Morgan, who... Riku knows. And um, we'll invite Claudia and see if she shows up. I guess we can invite Indra too, why not? I don't think any of these people matter that much. Uh, maybe having Alistair would be kind of cute. Yeah, we'll invite him and see if he shows up. Are well, these two just hanging out chatting about how they're going to be teenagers and maybe they're going to start being interested in boys like they've seen on television. <laughs> All right, here's Morgan, Joy, a bunch of other kids. All right, okay, come on in. I guess we can afford to set up like a little party setup. What I want to do is just get a cheap table Hilariously, the one I was thinking of is actually surprisingly expensive and not an option. That's fine. Let's go with this one then. How is this, like, cheap when it... Oh, I don't know. Whatever. Let's pop that there. And then... No, no, no. Wait, not yet. Give us a... Give me a minute, game. Give me a minute. Right, and then we're gonna have the twins. Age up. Is one of the... No, the cakes are all the same price. Let's just have matching rainbow cakes. Why not? Do we want balloons? We could have balloons. No, I can't justify it when they have so little money. And I feel like Harumi is the older twin, so we'll have her blow out the cake first. Yeah. And I'm gonna save. Just because I feel like things always go wrong at my parties and I won't be able to reload if I need to. Yeah, like, how did Riku just fulfill a fear? What even was the fear? Oh well, whatever it was, it doesn't matter now. Everyone's here. Friends and family all gathered around. Why you wish you could die? Why you wish you could die? Okay. Alright, okay, here we go. There she goes. Right, and we'll have R Riku's blowing out his right afterwards, so that's perfect. I don't know if the uh, cutscenes will work. We'll find out. Oh my gosh, the outfit is perfect for her. Okay, the music got stuck for a minute there. Okay, and her turn on is people who have dark hair and glasses. She doesn't like artistic people. <laughs> is that just shade for on her brother? Maybe. Right, the outfit she grew into is completely perfect for her. I won't be changing that because it's already like her signature color. And I don't know, maybe it's not whatever appropriate, but we're keeping it. And we're going to roll the dice to determine her aspiration. Let's go. It's a two. So that's one, two. Meaning that she is a knowledge sim. Okay, I can roll with that. And let's age up 
Claudia, since he's here. Looks like we're aging up Kirsten. And we'll save Annalie to potentially be friends with kids later. Oh, he aged up with no cutscene. Oh, I'm so sorry, Riku. That's so sad. You missed the cutscene because of your sister. Oh, well. I'm sure you'll live. I mean, he looks happy enough. Although he did just do a ugh, as if maybe he wasn't that happy about it. Okay, so he likes makeup and grey hair. Dare we say a grandma complex? No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> and he's not into swimwear, even though he's in this tropical ass outfit. Anyway, let's see what he rolls for his. All right, so that's a three. So it's one, two, three. Romance. Oh, you know what? I didn't really see him as the romantic type, but I'm willing to roll with it. I think for a sensitive artist type, maybe romance makes sense actually. So we'll go with that. And we're not going to age up any more kids. <laughs> and these kids are aging up as well. Some very questionable outfits going on here. Like that's kind of okay, but what is happening with Claudia's look? The fact that they're still wearing little matching blue outfits and they're completely weather inappropriate. I don't know, I think it's kind of cute. Right, where's the casual? Oh, we don't have it. Well, now we do. Okay, let's run the randomizer. Oh, look at them. Flirting away, very cute. Oh. Oh, they're so adorable. I hope she falls in love with them. But if she doesn't, that's fine. It looks like they're heading upstairs with or without my my input. Riku, come on, don't be so disgusting. He already has a want to fall in love and he wants to be best friends with Kirsten. So is this perhaps a sign? I don't really know, but let's let's see what we think of her and then maybe try flirting i mean he wants to flirt so okay he's into her how does she respond to a flirt he's confident look at him okay she seems to be going for it let's let's try and get to know her a bit better maybe maybe we can i don't know if we'll be able to get a first kiss on the very first but asking her on a date, let's save that as a to-do. Well, in fact, we'll keep this one locked, but I'm going to remember this as a thing that he wants to do. Although they are arguing, so... Right, well, maybe they could play Kiki back for a bit. And then, I mean, we could go in for the first kiss. Right. Oh, she's just gone to bed. I guess that's fine. Buy a cell phone. And a telescope. They can't afford one. Let alone that expensive one that she seems to want. A bit rich already want demanding the more expensive telescope before you've even got the cheap one. Alright, we'll keep that as a locked one. And maybe it can be a late birthday present. Oh. I, I forgot this was happening. Right. Elderly Sims, let's go. <laughs> I love Kat just skipping work, going on a date, and then getting laid at her kid's birthday party. And they kissed, and we missed it. We missed the first kiss cutscene because we were too busy watching the bloody old people woohoo cutscene and so Riku missed his first kiss cutscene and his aging up cutscene in one look they've got a kiss memory I'm so sorry Riku here let's get a nice let's at least witness oh she's on the toilet okay sorry we'll leave you alone you know I feel like it's sad that we didn't even see their kiss I'd like to see them kiss right there we go Oh, look at them. Oh, 
Oh, no, okay, she didn't go for it that time. Right, never mind. I'm sorry, Riku. I was only even doing that because of the... I thought it would be sweet. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that that went wrong. Let's pretend that didn't happen. Oh, wait, who's falling in love? Did anyone fall in love? Well, wait, is it upstairs? Oh, she fell in love! Oh, I'm so happy for her! Oh, good for you, Kat. Good for you. Oh, I love these two. I think they make such a sweet couple. I've just remembered the traits. The traits situation. And we've got a lot of people to add missing traits to, so let's go. Apparently Matthew Smith doesn't have any traits, you know? Oh. Right, okay, so Haru's new trait is bot fan. Okay, interesting. Well, she is also, um, you know, a knowledge sim, so maybe she could get into, like, making robots as a hobby. That could be kind of fun. It's funny as well, because you know how robots in The Sims, they hate water, and she also hates water, so I don't know, that's sort of fun. And her favourite colour is um, grey, so yeah, I don't know. Robots, I can see it. What's... Uh, Rikuto's new trait is schmoozer. Now this one I'm not as sure about. Hmm, because isn't he really shy? Hmm. Yeah, I'm actually going to give him the artistic trait because, I don't know, I feel like he does all this painting all the time and his grandma has the trait and I just kind of have it in mind for him and Schmooza, I don't know if I really see it exactly. Oh, actually, let's check the... Become visionary. <laughs> see? 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 He's artistic. It's right there that his life don't want is to become a visionary. That's so perfect. I couldn't have planned that any better myself. Right, let's give him that then. What's Haru's lifetime want? Reach maximum long-term aspiration. Oh, this one is like, um, this one's achievable, but it's like kind of vague, right? It isn't like career related. It doesn't give her a specific hobby to work on or anything. It's just like, she wants to be happy, which, yeah, who doesn't? Yeah. Oh, look at these two. And she can actually go to work today. That's amazing. I'm wondering about... Oh my god, look at them. They're out of control. You know, I'm wondering about asking him to move in. Here's my logic. A, a cat is going to get older and he isn't. And the idea of seeing him like in the neighborhood still after she passes on just seems sort of depressing to me. Two, they're both like in love. And three, um, the kids are both teenagers now and they're kind of old enough to look after themselves. And so Kat kind of has a little bit more time to herself to get on with her own hobbies and her own like interests. And I think the kids are old enough that they wouldn't be like upset by a strange man coming in. They're just like, oh yeah, grandma's boyfriend. And it wouldn't like upset them. So yeah, I think we're gonna do it because they are in love. Why not, you know, why not? all right one one dollar added to family funds that's matthew's really poor he's poor oh well that's fine but okay he's happy let's let's have a look at him and get to know him a little bit better then all right so he's a knowledge sim which goes well with cat because she's a family sim he has no skills at all which i don't really like i might give him some where's the sim blender real quick randomize Okay, yeah, that makes more sense. He's like not a body person at all, but he's really smart and quite creative. I can see that. He wants to make out with Cat, which is brilliant. We'll keep that. And then here, these are his personality traits, which he only just got. Now, some of these I only think I might change. Let's have a look at his interests first. All right, the one thing I want to change here is that he is a member of the garden club so i feel like he'd be more interested in the environment so i'm going to up that and we're going to make him a little less interested in sports because he um has no body skill i mean he might just like watching them but yeah that's right let's see uh he is oh also his personality 
Yeah, he's fairly nice, quite active, so it's kind of surprising he doesn't have any body skill, actually. Oh, well, whatever. Right, I'd like him to have at least one trait that's, like, gardening related, since he's meant to be from the gardening club. And I don't know that I want him to be a kleptomaniac, because, I mean, I only just gave him traits, but I... Or is he scamming her? I just, I oh, can't deal with it. Him being a coward, I think it's fine. Him being an animal lover. Yeah, I guess. But him being a vehicle enthusiast, would he be? I mean, let's see. Does he have, like, much mechanical skill? He's got a bit. Yeah, okay. I don't think that necessarily means he can't be into gardening and this. But yeah, I want to give him the green thumb trait. Because I just think it would make sense. It'd be weird for him not to be interested in gardening. Oh yeah, and we'll give him colour favourites too. All right, he likes blue and he hates white. That's fine. We can roll with that. All right, Matthew, welcome to the house. I guess you guys can make out. <laughs> Doesn't cat have work in a minute? Why are you here? Oh my god. Maybe he is a kleptomaniac and she's like... What? Who are you? Get out of here. The good witch is calling again. I really think he wants to uh, recruit her to the the witchcraft world. All right, we don't even know this woman. I thought maybe she was a friend of Matthew's, but she is not. Go home. Piss off and go home. <gasps> what? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> no, what? I know that's just a glitch, so I'm going to pretend it didn't happen. Well, it's not a glitch exactly. I'm going to just ignore that for now. If Matthew starts to act shifty, then, you know, maybe we'll reconsider what's going on. But, oh, his little purple pajamas. All right, love it. Oh, yes, clean that. Well done. Good girl. Right. Now that she's a teenager, Hari, I feel like needs a different haircut because she looks I don't think it's the same haircut Lynn has but we've got a lot of women with like long curly hair and also I feel like her natural hair texture wouldn't be this curly I kind of gave her the idea that she was like a child so it was like really messy but I think now that she's a teenager perhaps she'd put like a bit more kind of care into her appearance I guess um, so I'm interested in trying a different haircut for her maybe even something really simple like this right i think this one's pretty cute and we're gonna give her some makeup as well yeah that looks nice um, i'm wondering about giving her glasses again because she's a knowledge sim maybe it's a bit stereotypical i just kind of want her to look a bit nerdier now oh, this is cute i don't know though no i actually think she looks better with glasses shocking this is what we're gonna go with we'll see if um she likes it if um you know, we might we change it later, but I think this is a nice teenage look for her. Yeah? Aww. Okay, she likes it too. That's good. Yeah, she's of course got her lazy, lazy nature. She's thinking about getting a new family member. You know, Matthew moving in. She's tidying this up. She's quite tidy then. Yeah, I guess she is neat. All right, and she's wide awake, come like her brother. So what are you going to do with yourself? Aha. Uh -huh. Just checking yourself out. Well, at least she's confident. <laughs> ah, I'm playing chess. You know, she never touched this chess table once as a car child. But now that she's an adult, well, now that she's a teen, she's like going to get into chess, I guess. Yeah. And she's thinking about Matthew. So maybe she's thinking about challenging him. It looks like he might be quite good at chess by the looks of things. What's the matter? Oh, his fun's low. Wait, can he even do painting? Isn't he? Okay, he can do it himself, I guess. If I direct him to do that while well, he's in a bad mood, he refuses. Oh, see, he is refusing. And he can't even uh, play chess with his sister. Oh, I know that's your go-to object, but you're gonna need to like watch TV or something. 
I know, I'm sorry. Very much wanting to find out what Riku's hobby is. I know I talk about this constantly, but I feel like I've tried everything. Aww. Is he practicing? <laughs> Take a break from that for a minute. I want to see if your hobby is mechanical tinkering, I mean. Oh, it is. Okay. Very interesting. Because Rikuto is a technophobe. So whatever kind of tinkering he gets into, it has to be something that isn't um isn't too like gadgety. Like nothing with electronics, like tinkering with this would terrify him. Um but I guess he could be into like toy making. I feel like even that, they're like little robot toys. It would scare him. And also it's funny that she meanwhile is a bot fan. Yeah interesting combination of twins. <laughs> yeah we've got the no making bench and we've got the woodworking bench and these are both objects made by DD on tumblr and these could be hobbies for him so i don't think we will need to change it actually i think we'll roll with it and then we'll save up to try and get harumi the robot crafting station because i think that would be really cool for her right then time for school off you go off you trot Oh, and they're matching in their winter outfits as well. I can never get over these two. They're so cute. Oh, look at them. They've got their matching outerwear as well, I think. Well, that's not outerwear for her, is it? I do think their outfits kind of go together. Matthew, I like to imagine, since he's a shy sim and he's a knowledge sim, I don't think he ever had like kids. I don't think he has grandkids. I think he's kind of just been doing his own thing, you know. He's involved with the garden club. He had some sort of job when he was younger. In? I don't know. Maybe even science or something, since he's a knowledge sim. What's his lifetime want? Max out all your skills. <laughs> yeah, well, they're probably not going to manage that, but you never know. You never know. Alistair is walking some random dog that isn't even his. Look at him. Every time, there's always a dog. Oh, and there's Philibert, who we were almost... Oh, well, not Philibert. Corey. Corey Coleman. We played chess with him one time and we are like sort of friends with him and I do like main sims to have friends as well as just their like love interests you know like she's pretty serious with Matthew but I do want her to have friends you know oh his hobby is also tinkering oh well that works out great because he's also interested in like vehicles right like um vehicle enthusiast so it would be really cool to have the um car i don't know if they can afford it though she doesn't actually earn that much money at her job bit rubbish maybe we can work on a program oh matthew's working on it matthew's working on a basic program also they're both programmers together as well this is cute I mean, I guess if he's into tinkering, they could be. Um, the program looks extremely good and valuable. Okay, no, poor Matthew. Poor Matthew. Right, we'll um hang out with Corey, I guess. And Matthew, please finish your program so that we can get the money for it. <laughs> it's popping off in the gamer cave. Matthew, work on your damn program. Oh, he's hungry. Well, fair enough. It's like out of the bath, Grandma. Look at his grades. Let's go. Ah, oh, well done. 
They're both so excited about it. Oh my gosh, we've been on like one date with you. Oh, we haven't even been on one date with you. Oh, you know what? Let's go on our one date tonight. Let's do it. Let's go out. Are we going to bring anyone to third wheel on the date? Oh, yeah, let's bring Harumi so she can just like hang out. Right, off they go. Alright, and there's another teenager. You know, let's try and get to know him. His name is Chris Costa. <laughs> yeah, we're getting pre along pretty well with Chris and we seem to have plenty in common. They both look I don't know, maybe outdoorsy isn't the right word. But yeah, you know, they're wearing sort of matching outfits and they're both like kind of like holiday clothes. I don't know. And I'm trying to get Haru to make friends with this girl, Vanessa. I don't know. I'd like Haru to have more friends. She only has the one, Joy, who admittedly she has besties with. I think he's best friends with Joy as well, but he doesn't have any chemistry with her, which is maybe for the best. Yeah, but she doesn't really know any other teenagers, so yeah, maybe her and Vanessa here will hit it off. Yeah, look. Cute. I always like taking photos in this game. I think it's fun. Oh, we've got chemistry with this guy. See, I was so busy I didn't notice. Let's go admire his... Oh. Do we have love happening over here? Oh, she's got a crush. Cute. Let's try like a smooch. Okay, that's going well. Nice. But yeah, Haru, while she is like, um, I guess like a bit dorky, or like, you know, she's a knowledge sim, she's interested in like robots and you know, chess now apparently, but she isn't like, um, especially socially awkward. She's always been like very outgoing and I don't think she would have trouble like just like making friends with people. Right and with with all that I think it's a suitable time as any to head home because he's all stinky. I mean once you've got to the point of trying to give yourself a quick rub down in the bathroom not rub down. God, that sounded wrong. <laughs> Once you got to the point of doing a bathroom sponge bath mid midday, I feel like it's um, time to call it a night, you know? Oh, she's coming with us. Oh, okay. Well, that's great. We didn't ask her to. We didn't ask her back to our place, but I guess maybe we're giving her a lift home in the same taxi. Just guy talk. <laughs> I know greeting Lynn probably isn't in character, but I just I'd like the neighborhood to feel more integrated, you know? And who knows? Maybe she'd hit off with Corey. Are you gonna finish your program, Matthew? I'd really like the kids to have like lots of hobby equipment and like hob things they can do. You know, they've got like an eccentric grandma who likes because the thing is, I just not holding on to stuff, but like collecting lots of different hobbies. And I feel like I can see this for the kids as well, him with his like artistic hobbies and her with maybe more like, um, 
building robots and stuff. And then he's also into tinkering, so maybe it could even be something they do together. If he's able to get over his, like, phobia. But... For any of this, we need money. We need to at least be able to afford, like, the tinkering car. Maybe, like, some workbenches, you know. Alright, they are hitting it off. Well, I don't know if they're hitting it off, but they are talking. <laughs> wow, actually, get these two. You know, just saying, but I never see her having fun like this with Robbie. And we know Corey's a bit intellectual because he plays chess, right? <laughs> what if we did just prompt something here? You know, we could use influence. Influence them to flirt. I mean, it might not work, but I don't know. I'm feeling mischievous. Let's see. Then, come on. Oh. Okay, yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> Cat talking to him like, yeah, she really likes you, and he tries that, and it just flops. Okay, date's over. But, you know, seems like it went well. Oh, and they get to kiss. All right, can you both get out of his room, please? Leave. Renato, Renato! Yeah, get out of here. You too. Broca, broca, broca. Believe it or not, this is a teenage boy's bedroom, so get the f Oh my god, she just went straight back in. I guess it is a comfy chair. Ew, what? Go home. Right, okay. Waking up at 6am, we have a sudden urge to sew something. Alright. You know what, why don't you finish grandma's potholder? Him being into sewing is quite cute. I feel like I can see that. Yeah. Let's put this up in your room. There. And the potholder can go in the kitchen. What has happened down here? Dare we? Try and fix it as the tinkering sim of the house. I like how he rubbed his hands like job well done, but it isn't done. You didn't, you didn't fix it. Oh look, they're actually talking. I'm really glad these two have become best friends, because for a while, their relationship was a bit strained. Alright, off they go. Oh, she's home. Yes! Even after all this, she's still getting promotions, even though she isn't even at work most of the time. Getting caught breaking that government database had you on the brink of incarceration. Who knew that this kind of drama was happening in the background the whole time we've been playing? Katsuko has just been dealing with some sort of lawsuit and nearly going to jail. Shocking. Anyway, she's been hired by the SimCity software company. So they'll let you out on probation if you agree to beef up their electronic security, keep your creative and logic skill high in order to outsmart your former friends assault on your new company's hardware. Oh, she's sold out. All right, well done, Kat, because now we can finally afford. We've got to decide actually what it is we want. I feel like the woodworking bench would be quite cute for a Sim who's like mechanical, but um, not into technology. I just feel like it makes a certain sort of sense. If we have this here and we move this to the art studio, because I think sewing is sort of art adjacent, whereas tinkering, it's like its own thing, right? <laughs> and then, so we've got that. 
and I don't know if we'll be able to afford the car as well. I really want the car, that's such a shame. Um, yeah, we need more money for that. But this is like a start, right? It's like a nice thing to have. Yeah, see, Matthew's pleased about it too, understandably. But get back to work on fixing the sink. Get back to work on your programming. I feel like he has to earn his keep, you know? Like, I like Matthew and I like him and Kat together, but as he's just moved in. Oh shit, I forgot about that. Yeah, um, you're gonna need to pay all the bills. Imagine if we've just spent all the money and now we can't afford to pay the bills. Okay, no, we're good. Phew. No! Oh my god. Oh, it's spring. I guess I've been playing this family for ages. I can't believe we can't afford to pay it. Maybe we should sell something. Um, Let's sell that, like I said I was going to before. That. RIP. We'll keep some of the kids' stuff, because I think... Yeah, they might have kids someday. And, you know, it's cute. And it's not worth that much money anyway. Pay. Pay the bills. Come on, I know you can do it. Yes! Okay, nice. Nice. Oh, and we're even going to do some weeding. As it has now turned into spring, we are going to... I think leave the family here. It's been quite a nice winter for them really. The kids are all grown up but they seem to be doing well so far. They're turning into quite interesting little characters I think and I'm very excited about Katsuko and Matthew finally getting together. And look she's he's even influenced her to want to do some gardening. I was thinking this would be his job but I guess, you know, he's been trying out some of her kind of computery hobbies and now she's trying out a bit of weeding. Admittedly, this can't be good for your back when you're an old person. And the weeds have really, really spread in the winter. But, yeah, well done. Well done, Kat. Good work. If you've made it this far, thanks so much as always for watching this is such a fun little series to make i really enjoy the pace of it and i'm really getting quite attached to the sims themselves as well so yeah it's been really really good fun uh thanks for watching as always and i'll see you in the next one bye for now